Howdy everybody, Granny Annie here and thanks for stopping in. I'm cooking a leg of wild hog today and I'm going to black up David's good stainless steel roaster. I really haven't wanted to mess this up. It's so shiny and pretty. But we talked about it. Time to get some water in it. Be back in a second. We decided that, <clears throat> excuse me, we will probably never use a conventional modern stove or oven again. Um, gas, electric, whatever, you know, regular range. We will always be doing off grid cooking. Bobby, <laughs> Bubba. And um, so if we don't go ahead and use our stainless steel roaster and black it up then we'll probably never get to use it again and it is perfect for cooking right here for stuff like this this leg of wild hog be I actually am going to barbecue this I'm going to simmer it for a little bit and then I'm going to add some barbecue sauce in with it and then later some vegetables kind of barbecued kind of smoked kind of roasted um, my own method of cooking of course dump this dump that in and we hope it's good so back in a little bit the leg of wild hog is cooking nicely um, right now I have the lid off I'm alternating with it off and on to kind of get it to steam cook I have the lid off right now trying to get the smoke to roll into it to get a little smoke flavor to it um, I'm making a sauce a barbecue sauce to go over it by taking Let's see, Giant Eagle brand, anyway, it's sweet and spicy barbecue sauce, and it does have a spicy kick, it's really good. Some fresh pressed apple juice, and some teriyaki soy, it's kind of a teriyaki soy sauce blend, it's really good stuff. So I'm blending the three of them together into another bottle, I filled the bottle about an inch and a half of the apple juice and then used half each sweet and spicy barbecue sauce and the other half the teriyaki sauce and shook it all up together real good and here in a little bit I will pour this all over the meat and then let it cook a little longer so that's what I have I got all these at Alps in Muskogee Oklahoma our favorite grocery store we get the best buys there. Would you believe that gallon of apple juice was only a dollar fifty-nine? Yeah, for a whole gallon of apple juice, way cheaper than a two-liter of pop for sure. Much healthier. Not to mention it tastes really good too. So, I think I have a total of maybe a dollar seventy-five cents to a dollar in the bottle that I mixed up to pour over this wild hog. So back in a little bit show you what it's looking like And here it is, all finished. Once again, it's been a long day, and it's after dark before I got dinner finished. So I hope you can see this. I added in some broccoli and cauliflower florets and a couple of onions. And yeah, the smoke's in my eyes, so I'm sorry about wiggling this. But it's all ready. We're done, ready to eat.
Thanks for watching.